obstacles or just about anything that would get in the way but included barbed wire fencing and it was all constructed on the East German side of Berlin so it didn't touch any of the boundaries of West Berlin that was probably smart on their part because they weren't infringing upon non-communist territory so these obstacles that were built by East German police which included barbed wire fencing and all kinds of different obstacles were all constructed on the East German side of Berlin. None of these obstacles would touch any boundaries of West Berlin. Well, as Hannah alluded to, these obstacles eventually became a concrete wall between East and West Berlin to pre prevent people from East Berlin fleeing to West Berlin. That became the Berlin Wall. Yes? So, how come they didn't just German Well, that, you know, that's probably a good question, but they really didn't. They went through Berlin, you know what I mean? They, they're what the most of the population was in the Berlin area. That's a good question. Yeah. Do you have a question? Well, here's the dimensions of the Berlin Wall if you're interested. Anybody know how high it was? 12 feet. It was 12 feet high. And it was 97 miles long. And it encircled the entire city of West Berlin. But what were they smart enough to do? Build it where? outside the wall or outside the boundaries so this wall was 12 feet high and it encircled the entire city of Berlin and this distance was ended up being 97 miles so the Berlin Wall is 12 feet high 97 miles long and it encircles the entire city of West Berlin on the East German side well what happens if you didn't get over there quick enough? Pretty soon Megan is in West Berlin and her parents and her brother are in East Berlin and they have no way now to get together. And so it separated families. Berliners were in despair because it prevented the people from East Berlin to escape the communism of East Germany. What happened to those that attempted to escape? Once, once they put these obstacles up, they didn't just put them up, they guarded the boundaries. Okay? So, Anyway, what was happening to those people that tried to escape? They shot them. They just simply shot them. So those attempting to escape were shot down by East German police that were stationed at the wall. Now, there were a lot of people, just so you know, who both successfully and non-successfully tried to escape communism. Some made it, some didn't. Stories are very well documented. Now, so let's put all this in perspective. The infiltration's taken, the conference doesn't go very well with Kennedy and Khrushchev. They decide they're going to build a wall, and the United States chooses not to intervene or complain. I guess we complain, but we didn't take any action against that wall being constructed. And I'm going to give you three reasons why the United States chose not to intervene in Berlin. Well, think about this. Let's see how smart we are. Why did Kennedy not intervene or make a move for this wall not to be constructed? Okay, kind of. He realized that by putting up a wall in Berlin, what is Khrushchev not making preparations to do? Not making preparations. If he builds this wall, he's not making preparations to take what? All, very good. All of Berlin. So Kennedy's thinking, you know, our goal is to make sure that West Berlin is non-communist. And if he's going to put a wall up around West Berlin, at least we know he's not trying to take it. That was the first reason why he didn't intervene. Because he realized by putting up a wall in Berlin, Premier Khrushchev was not making preparations to take all of Berlin and try to make it communist. Okay, the second reason he didn't intervene is because he believed that the Berlin Wall, as much as he didn't like it, would diffuse the crisis between the Western Allies and the Russians. Okay? At least it would, just, it would determine this is the way it's going to be. So the crisis should end. So he believed that the Berlin Wall would diffuse any crisis between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union. Why would it diffuse the crisis? Because we know Khrushchev is not trying to take all of Berlin. So it's going to put us in a less of a crisis mode 
between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union. Now, what are these two things, number one and number two, going to result in if it goes the opposite way? If we think Khrushchev's going to try to take all of Berlin, and it's going to make a big-time crisis between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union, what's it going to result in? A war. So the third reason why Kennedy did not intervene in Berlin on this wall is he quoted as saying, a wall is much better than a war. So, the three reasons why the United States did not choose to intervene in Berlin concerning the wall. One, Kennedy realized that by putting up a wall in Berlin that Khrushchev was not making preparations to take all of Berlin under Soviet leadership. Number two, he knew that wall would defuse the crisis between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union. And the third reason was, he could, very well stated his quote, a wall is much better than a war. Well, finally, in June of 1963, just five months before his assassination, President Kennedy visits West Berlin. And he gives a very, very moving and emotional speech, and the crowd is just, it's just a act crowd. And they're shouting, Kennedy, Kennedy. He was very well received there. He gave a very, very moving speech in front of a packed house. And he made a couple of quotes. I'm going to let you listen to him give the quote himself in a minute. But he said a quote I think is really important. He says, freedom has many difficulties and democracy is not perfect. But we have never had to put up a wall to keep our people in. That's what he said. And then I'm going to show you uh, his speech. I think it would be worth seeing. So, and then you pick up something, and then we're going to talk about something else. And then Andrew Lamb, I am not messing up Kyle's name, Andrew Lamb sent me a link to a video about this on a song. And I'm going to show you that as well. In the meantime, in 1989, one of my students at Hamilton High School had a brother, her brother was stationed in Berlin, when they took the wall down. And she knew how important it would be to me, so she wrote him a letter, and he got me a piece of the Berlin Wall. And that is it. Yeah, those are awesome. And, and, yeah, and you got to be careful, because pe what did people start to do when they... You know, I mean, that, how do you tell that came from the Berlin Wall? You could say, oh, gee, that's good. And it could be. But I, I know this came because it was mailed to me from Germany when the, when the wall went down. So, they, be careful.